Hey everybody, this is Cat the Game Gal, and today we are trying a brand new game that's free with Xbox Live with Gold. And I downloaded this today, I believe. If not, it was yesterday. I think it was today that I downloaded it. And I was just like, you know what? I gotta try this game out. It looks really interesting. So, uh, what it really was is the art style caught my attention, as well as the, uh, basically choose your dialogue, like how you want to speak with other characters. Um, and I always like that, the power of choice. So, we're gonna hop right on into it. Ooh. I don't know, we're gonna play this profile, obviously, but first I have to make sure everything's where it needs to be. Ah. That's, that's the only option for subtitles, huh? Well, I didn't expect it to go like that. Uh, Alright, well. We should be good, right? Yes? And let me make sure that actually stays. Okay. So I guess you can't switch any, like, the volume of the sound or sound effects, so... Except just adding subtitles, obviously, which is nice. That means there must be some dialogue, actually spoken dialogue, so... Kluji, finally a game without those darn oxens that are ruining this nation. <laughs> They're ruining this nation. Hey, Kluji. First off, welcome, welcome. And yeah, I mean, uh, well, uh, Oxen Free, from what I from what I understand, Oxen Free is about um, it's about all the, these teenagers all going to this island, and it's like a, a military base once upon a time, and then suddenly something happens, and like they awaken the ghosts of the past or something. It's really really cool from what I saw, and I was just like, yeah, I got I got to try this, so. It's something new. I thought might as well try it. Let's see where it takes us. So here we go. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Mission control to Alex. This is I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. The cookies are great on Edwards Island. Used to be great, but you passed. Thank you. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even gonna tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, please don't. Let's not relive their meat cute any more than we have to. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eating your food. Smelling up your bathroom. Yeah, sure, whatever. I have someone to reach the food on the top shelf now. Just happy to be on the team. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blocks. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't see a man's toddler penis and not become best friends after that. Yeah, exactly. A bond stronger than oak. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, so, how do you It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This'll be like the before shot. They're on yeah, their way. let's do it. And it's Jonas? 
Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. We spent five years stuck. It's a... Uh... Which, which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh... Oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. There's so much dialogue, and I'm just like, waiting for them all to finish speaking. I'm just like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gucci. Um, you said, uh, you were watching some Xavier, An uh, Renegade Angel, and that was good. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, you just ignore Nightbot, don't you worry. I just hope that my choices are okay. <laughs> if anything. I mean, I don't know. I like that almost every Smell like every that clean air, boys and girls. Huh? Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends? Uh, really? Just... That's kind of... It'll take three... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, but... <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all gonna meet up with them. It's like a buddy system. So no, let... it's... it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny. You know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like, getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons. Lemonade. However that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. <laughs> yeah. I'm an optimist. I'm proud of it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. 
I was in the basement at my old house, so this is an improvement. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. It's nice at night, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Okay. Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. It's kind of kitschy. Right? It's kind of kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. I don't even know what I'm doing, but I'm enjoying it already. When the flag is flying, Ooh. we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. Alright, and off we go! Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. <laughs> that is actually really true. There's always that one parking lot or one car in the parking lot. Let's see, Glitchy, you said uh there's a lot of people saying and stuff or or whatever. <laughs> Always choose to kill the main character. <laughs> Have you never seen um XRA? Your reaction implies no, but it's surrealist comedy with that about enlightenment and whatnot. Huh. No, I have not heard of it, Gluji, so that's interesting. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's 102.3. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy Blackburn. in a way, right? On October yeah. 28, I hate thinking about it. It, was sunk it reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. As well as 12 army... Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea. Ah! Can I really not go around this thing? There we go. Parks and Facilities Office. Ren's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, alright. <laughs> Is that all you had to say about her, Alex? Okay, they close then. up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. That's true. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid. A tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wow, that's actually kind of funny. Yeah, it's like kids at camp or whatever. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark, the town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing, is the Weirdo Caves. Weirdo Caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And they're impossible to get anywhere else on the island. Crazy, right? So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owned some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. Man, that woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Well, if it's on an island, then yeah. 
monkey butlers, lobster wives. It's the dream. Oh yeah, what was I thinking? Lobster wives. It's the dream. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our I think I'm not doing is thinking it. of I'm going out really of state good. to college? Oh really? Yeah, so don't get too And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh huh. Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want, forget I said anything. Rent, why do you even care about this? Oh, I don't know, maybe because you're my friend? And I'll miss you if you go, that's what a friend does. They miss the other person. And I don't want you to regret anything. So, yeah, never mind. Oh, Ren, you big knucklehead. I'd miss you too, okay? But for now, I'm not gone yet, and who knows what I'm gonna do, so... All right, all right. Oh, you two are like kittens in a paper sack. Ugh, what is that? It's a saying. No, it isn't. <laughs> I hope we were not supposed to be walking this whole time. Whoops. As he glitched, he said, uh, for example, in an episode, people throw broken computers into a lake, which infects the town with a computer virus. The beaten path officially windows. ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that it used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Huh. 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 Well, good. I'm glad I got the map up. That way I can at least uh, read what you said. Uh, people throw com broken computers into a lake, which infects the town with a computer virus through the pipes. So then the solution to the problem is to infect the lake with an organic disease. <laughs> and I'm not doing the show justice. That's the least strange thing <laughs> that happens. Are you sure? That sounds strange indeed. It's also sad because I missed a couple lines of dialogue. I didn't mean to, but apparently I did. Alright, so the hills are over here. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Gotta yeah, push that dumpster. End over! Alright! There's just so much dialogue in this game. Oh, man. I didn't expect there to be so much dialogue, and I'm not even- I'm not only about 20 minutes in, almost, and I'm just like, so much dialogue. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? Deal? Be cool. Don't be like just how you can be sometimes. Oh, and okay, Jonas. Now that we're dumpster buddies. What was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tails or something? Uh, it was nothing, really. Reginald, I hear you over there. Ooh. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying, I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so. Uh, yeah, hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's- Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, uh, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? 
Um, My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, <laughs> that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, come on. Don't be mean. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> Who said I'm not having any fun? I'm having fun. This is like friggin' Candyland right now. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I... what about me? What about you? Oh, I get it. I'm not even on the spectrum. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on their... We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yay! Awesomeness! Yeah! I just hope I'm making the right dialogue choices, because it looks like I'm not I'm not making good dialogue choices. I don't know what those symbols mean on the side of the faces. Like I don't know what each little face icon means yet. I'm 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 kind of winging it right now. I'm, I'm just trying this game out. <laughs> Gucci, how does nobody know what a stepbrother is? I don't I don't even know. Like I'm confused. Like as soon as I heard that question, I was just like. You can't see me doing it, but I was just rubbing my face, like rubbing the bridge of my nose where my glasses are, and I'm just like, are you kidding me? Are you flipping kidding me right now? Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. We should explore the island. I mean, if this is pretty much a one-time thing, we shouldn't waste it. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo, until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're I'll gonna- I'll start, Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You wanna go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, 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 I wanna hear his answer. Uh... Okay, that's- <sighs> Clarissa, you know what? Ask me something instead, anything you want. You'll get your turn after Reginald answers the question. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no, just face it. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's that's all. She's cool. She's... she's just a Let's friend. ease off the throttle for the next one, okay, Clarissa? Yeah. What? This game isn't any fun if you don't get a stomach ache. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? What? It's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I think I'd marry you, actually. We know each other the best, so not a lot of surprises there. Perfect. Stay-at-home husband. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? Nona. She seems like she'd be present and giving, unlike some people here. Hey, I'm present. I wouldn't lose my place or nothing. Scout's honor. Oh, God, this is such a horrible turn. Which 
of course, means that you'd strangle Clarissa in her sleep if you ever got the chance. What a shocker. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, it, it just worked out that way, I swear. Yes, I mean, why would you have any control over the words and thoughts coming out of your face? Hey now, you can't control the sneeze. And I think this falls more in the realm of bodily function. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the platypus uh, man? Uh, Jonas. <laughs> yeah? Tell the truth. How do you really feel about your dad marrying my mom and the fact that we're now de facto organ donors? Well, unless you turn out to be crazier than you look. That'd be hard. I think it's fine. Only known her one night and is already fine with it. What a guy. Is it my question now, then? Yep. Okay, Clarissa, um, last person you made out with. Oh, um, uh, maybe something else. Or, yeah, maybe who's the last person you, uh, hugged instead? Uh, what's the matter? It's an honest question. Oh, will you all relax? I've made out with people since... God. Anyways, um, that would have to be Ryan Fisher, two weeks ago in Iggy's I den. I knew it. Yeah, well, he was there, and I was tired. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine with it, really. Is there, like, a question coming, or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So, let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't I don't really need to know the situation before. What are you talking about? What is this even... What does this have to do with anything? Why did your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. But how can we be sure... Of you know why. Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you... What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's... Let's not stop like this. We should... Like Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could... And that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Oh my god, you are annoying. This isn't me being annoying. This is me being tired. There's a difference. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. <sighs> Whatever. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. No, no, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Uh, Alex, you want to check stuck. out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Well, I'm not sure where the caves are, so let me check the map here real quick. Um... Jesus. I don't know what any of these symbols mean. Uh, Glitchy said, speaking of glasses, I got, uh, I got prescription sunglasses and didn't notice how sensitive my eyes were to light until I put them on. Ooh, glasses improved my sight a bit, but wearing the sunglasses was like seeing clearly for the first time. That's cool. My sister and my niece, they both, um, they both have these special prescription glasses where on in when you're indoors the glasses are, just look like normal glasses but then when you go outside they switch they change into uh sunglasses it was, I don't know I don't know if my sister's glasses does that but I know my niece's glasses does that especially my niece I'm not sure about my <laughs> nephew um, my you sister oh, oh I forgot we never talked about you're John. Ready. Oh what their date Yeah he Unless uh, I get a crank in my back which 
<laughs> Might happen you if you don't go house? soon. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on, I'm hurrying, so I'm hurrying. what happened? They just, it was funny. Oh my god. Like, I'm I going as fast as I can. Drinks and they like, she won't. She she Wait, I didn't press that. something like a named thing. Oh, oh okay, god. so both triggers. Yeah, both like, okay. like a, some weird cocktail or something. And they didn't know what she was talking about. And John, of course, is all nervous. And they basically got kicked out, so they didn't so, even get to see any cave. of the stuff. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? Hmm. Hmm, probably a 5. Weird enough to remember, but not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> all right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but, you know, you could've and you didn't, so thanks. Well, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't throw you in the deep end or anything. Not like a certain person who yelled at Andrew Finnegan about a certain junior high dance right in the middle of gym class. That was a joke, and he agreed, so no regrets. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Me, me, me! Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brownie Town. No. Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. Well, I'm not sure what kind of weirdness they want to... Something that sounds like a Morse code, so I wonder if that's it. <laughs> uh, he said, but they make my phone screen weird and rainbowy at, at certain angles, and no other screen at all. Really? Interesting. even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. How, how is this, how can this be possible? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <sighs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy then, cause I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me, not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Huh. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Are you... okay? I think so. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. Sounds so. Yeah, it sounds. Uh. It sounds. like painful. Yeah. Wait, what was that? 
There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. I no, I see it too. I'm sure there is something in there. Like a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> oh boy. If it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here because I think. Shh, I think I mismeasured the map. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see, Gluji said that Brian's gonna take about six hours to kick in, my friend. Not that I would know from any experience or anything, quote unquote. <laughs> and then, what's your Claire issue? <laughs> I like that. That's what made me laugh, was your Claire issue. <laughs> and oh, is that true, Gluji? How would you know? Hmm. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I wouldn't know, so don't worry. I'm just. I don't know. Oh, finally. 10 p.m. Jonas, wait for me. Jonas, Jonas. I also hate that I've missed a couple things of dialogue, and I don't know how some of like I don't know what some of the symbols mean, so I'm not sure if I'm making the right choices or if I'm saying certain things I shouldn't really be saying. I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying, but what what I think I should be saying. There's even times when I like I was about to press one and then I missed the dialogue prompt, so. One, I think I kind of skipped on purpose. It was, I think, the second one that I missed. But the first one, I actually tried to make the prompt as soon as possible, but it didn't work out. So, whoops. Wait, do I have to keep climbing up? Okay. Hold on. Let's just... There we go. I was about to say, climb me down. Jonas! Oh, Jonas! Jonas, seriously, where are you? Can't run, though, because the harder I push my stick, that's like how hard she runs, just like any other traditional game of, this, of similarities. I love the music though, it's so pretty. Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Or a pen? Jonas! Oh, Jonas! Whoa. See a man about a dog. Sure, will do. There he is. Are you okay? Ah, Jesus, you scared me. Oh, I scared you? You scared me? I had no idea where you were. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought... I thought I heard somebody down here, but... You know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this... how this happens. No, it's... Uh, it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. What could that be? Echoes? Sounds of the ocean bouncing off the walls? Beats me, I failed geology. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. Alright. Let's see, Glitch said, Because I'm a child who was conceived in the world only two years ago. <laughs> oh, is that what right? What is this made out of? 
Is it ice? I don't know. Pockets of it are cold, but not all of it. What? Wow, how is that? Did do you see the floating um triangle light thing? I do. Um, yes. It must be like a like a rainbow or like a lef- reflection of light. Those um exist, right? Um cave triangle rainbows? Uh maybe. Until last week I hadn't heard about parrotfish either, so I guess anything's possible. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there and the, um, what am I trying to say? I I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Well, if I did, neat. I finally know what it feels like to catch a big trout. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. Apart from the, um, triangle, this is honestly the craziest thing in here. Like, how did it even get in? And I mean, aside from some, like, water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. Let's see, Gluji said, yes, this whole time you were speaking with the most intelligent Let's do it, ever. come on, radio time. <laughs> Saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? A guy who can't see dogs? Did you see the first half? See a man about a dog? Yeah, I don't get it either. Can I open this first? Nope, it's locked. I guess it's locked. Yeah, I already tried. How did you already try? If you weren't even, you know, I'm not gonna even ask. Alex, really, I wanna see what it's gonna do. Let's find the frequency. Oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? Uh... I... I think... I can't even... Like... What is... What? insane. Uh, who... Are, are you... Who are you on the... Listen. Bob 2. She? 2. Sleeping. Time. Time. Yeah. Is. Please. Possible. I, I... I don't know what you mean, so I can't... Bob 2. Please, children. Bye. See you soon. Alex! What just happened? <laughs> Glitch is like invaders from Mars. It felt like invaders from Mars. Holy crap! That was cool! In a really weird way. Oh, man! What was that all about? And, it, I mean, it looked like we were... Was it possible we were Alex. talking to the people in the submarine? Alex. Eleven PM. Alex? Are you okay? You alright? I thought you were I think so. Sorry. I, I don't know. 
God. Do I look all right? You look alive, I guess. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, but the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of pooped itself. No, I'm way ahead of you. There's got to be some kind of emergency station or way to get out without taking the ferry. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little de pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. So if it is, the time to come clean- Jonas, believe me, I wouldn't do that to you. I'm not that cruel. <sighs> okay, well, I hope so. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. Where's everyone else? Ren, uh, Clarissa. I have no idea. I don't know if they even know that anything happened. Harden Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yep. It almost makes the whole trip worth it, doesn't it? I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Alright, well, let me go back down here to the uh, door. I want to actually look at it. The only reason I started climbing the mountain is because, or the path, was because I was following him. So it's, it sounds like an electric fence, obviously. Was this even here before? Uh, don't touch that, please. I'd really prefer not telling your mom that you're dead. She might not take too well to the news. This all seems a little much, right? Like it's just a rusty old communications tower? They're not keeping dinosaurs in here. Maybe some kids climbed it drunk, fell off, and died. I don't know, but it's here, so... Don't touch. No, oh, don't worry, we're not gonna touch it. <laughs> but he's like, I'm invested now. I am too, I'm really invested. I really wanna know. Like, like how it started off was kinda slow, you know? Teenagers going and getting drunk. Uh, on an island where they're not supposed to be in the middle of the night, but now some weird shit's going on <laughs> So oh, we're climbing. Wow. We're synchronized climbing. Okay Not sure if this was supposed to be it was supposed to happen, but okay. We're synchronized climbing together And he's moving faster than me so he's able to move ahead and I'm just stuck on the ladder or on the stairs Holy smokes, this tower's huge. Ugh. Hey, whoa, Jonas, don't go ahead of me, bro. Now, what's curious is I don't know if he's older than her. She was the little sister to her brother from before. But now I don't know if Jonas and her are the same age, or if, sh if she's older than him, or if he's older than her. I just know that, that she's basi he's basically her stepbrother, but that's all I know now. I can see the cave... Not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? Probably heard all the noise and ran off instead of trying to come help us. Great. <sighs> it's locked. Let me try. Oh, after you. Oh, why, thank you. What are you even doing? Just have a little faith. He's look. Oh, he's he's picking the lock. He is totally picking the lock. That's exactly what he's doing. See? I have to say, I'm impressed. How'd you do that? It's just pressure and a library card for most older locks. Huh. Cool. Well, you go that way. I want to go over here to this, which looks like an open window. Ooh. How does this Okay, no, thing... I can't open that way. I don't know, but hold on. I'm going as fast as it I can. It might work if... Ah! Jesus! Hello? Alex? Ren? Oh, Jesus, happened. Christ, thank 
Vishnu, I, you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> it's still funny. Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's, it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at, uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like, like, just the worst thing ever. Just DEFCON fuchsia level terrible ever since you went into the cave. Like, Ren, are you alright? Like, physically alright? Because I know mentally you're no, probably... No, I'm not alright! I mean, do I sound alright or do I sound not alright? I probably sound not alright, right? Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something, or they do like, check-ins maybe? What's that sound? There Wait, I... Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick, seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? And Jonas is with you. Of course he is. Okay, look, Clarissa. Ren's on the other line and sounding like he's about a stub toe away from a total collapse, so if you're at least holding it together, Wait, wait, then... wait, I... I'm at Fort Milner, and I can't... I don't remember, like, the last hour, and it's, like, really scaring the crap out of me. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want to stay. I just want to get... Look, Clarissa, just... You have a radio. Work it out for yourself. Ren needs my help. Wait, Alex. Ren? Just pick me up, okay? Just come and pick me up. I'm really... not great. Look, Alex, just... Whatever you do, this is vitally important now. Heed the words. Heed these words. Just whatever you do, don't... And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. It's like the world is conspiring against us, I swear to God. Clarissa, you still there? She hung up too, of course. So, wanna truck over to Milner first, see about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Ren sounded kind of more out of sorts than usual. I don't know. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. We can swing through the forest and nab Ren, or we can go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people, you can decide. Ren needs us more. And he'd kill me if he knew we went to see Clarissa first. Sound logic. Alright, so we're gonna go and save Rin first. Yay! <laughs> uh, let's see, Gluji said, uh, Good thing he didn't take nearly as long as you do. Am I right or am I correct? <laughs> Actually, you're absolutely right, because I know in Assassin's Creed Unity, I take forever to lockpick the harder locks. And Gucci's like, these kids are older than me, and they still think boner jokes are funny. <laughs> uh, most people I associate with their older. Being an intelligent two-year-old tends to do that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's figure out how to turn off this electrified. Off Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Come on, don't you trust me? The light turned off. I trust you to, like, not hurt me on purpose or anything, but, you know, if the fence kills me on accident, it's not really about trust at that point. <sighs> Warning, do not use aboard ship unsafe radiation limits. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. <sighs> you don't have to make me feel better about getting you trapped on Horror Island. Horror Island? It sounds a little different than what we're on right now. Why would you think I said Whore Island? Um... I don't know. <laughs> is... um... Is anyone there? It's, Whoa! um... Dead. Did you get anyone? I think someone was there, but I don't know. That was creepy as hell. Not gonna lie. We do this. Phones are both. I think both the phones are off, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay.
Above the com above that. This? I would like to know what this is. I it, I know it's gotta be Morse code, but I don't know Morse code. Not all that well. You have a friend who knows Morse code? That's actually really cool. I guess obviously Morse code, I know it is. Makes me wonder like what it says. Yay! So, Epiphany, Epiphany Field. Wow, that's an interesting name. I think you only get one save file because like you saw as soon as I started the game it didn't even it didn't even ask for multiple files just changing profile so that's interesting Wonder what this is all about Like I am like extremely curious I want to know what's going on man How are you, uh, doing? I'm fine, I guess. Why? Uh, cause everything's crazy, you know? So, just making sure your shoes are still on your feet. They are. They are. How are you? Uh, could be better, but we'll get through this and on to bigger and better? Good talk. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it was good talk. So we need to go this way. We gotta go into the woods. It says, <laughs> wieners are funny. Ha 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 Yeah, sure. I'm sure that's what it says in Morse code. <laughs> oh, man. But this was, this is a really interesting game. It really is. I, um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a, like a genuine forest, with, like... What's the matter? Not the outdoorsy type? Well, if it's in a city with concrete and a little open all-night pancake place, then yeah, I'm outdoorsy and that I'm outdoors. But I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. We do know where we're going, right? Um, vaguely. I think that was a bad you know, this thing whole to place say. place really creepily reminds me of a park or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. It's weird. Oh, yeah? What was that one called? Peabody, I think. I'm trying to remember the sign. Oh, Jesus, <gasps> what are you doing jumping across that? There's another, there's like another way down here. Oh, God, achieve it. I can't believe you even made it. Look, Jonas, I do like a million jumping jacks a day. Jump the crazy chasm. <laughs> oh, God. I didn't realize. Sorry. My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. I guess he never considered the danger of whatever's happening right now. But, you know, everything's got something. Yeah, we once had a mall Santa who was kidnapping kids. I think that's been so far the scariest thing that's happened. Well, I mean, to be fair, that does sound pretty scary. Alright, I just got an achievement for crossing that chasm. I didn't think that was a possibility. I was assuming they were going to say, Oh, no, I can't cross that. But apparently I can, so yay! Bridge stand? Hold on a minute. No, wrong button. Uh, okay, so he's all the way up there. So we need to go to the bridge stand and then go up to the uh, to the relay point. Okay. So it's okay if we go past here then. 
Actually, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna look at the alternative route real quick and see what if there's anything there. Cause I, I thought I could have sworn I saw something right as we were leaving the screen. So I'm wondering if there was something. I'm curious. These loading screens do, am I right? <laughs> Glitchy's like, why did he jump again? Oh yeah, because this is AI, and because this AI is super advanced. <laughs> yeah, I was curious about that too. Like as soon as I turned around, like, he decided he wanted to uh, jump back up, and I'm just like, why? Why'd you? Why? Can I go back? Apparently, I can't go back. Okay. It would have been better had it never been found. For all those who possessed it came to sudden and violent death. Where are you going, Jonas? It would have been better had it never been found. Um, why is there a cable car here? Couldn't they have just made, like, just like a normal bridge? With wood and slats? That yeah, is... it doesn't really look safe, does it? It looks... Less than welcoming. Or at least it doesn't look very inviting. Or even on. Maybe there's another way. There has to be. I mean, it's the woods. There's no way to begin with. We make our own. Well, yeah, Jonas, except for when there's a chasm. All right, well, let's just see if we gotta take the, um, conveyor thing. It's been rotting here since the invention of ovens. <laughs> oh, check out the small cemetery in the Pacific Northwest. Literally, it's from the 1800s. Jesus, I thought that was a pet cemetery. I'm kind of relieved this island's depressing enough. Yeah, I agree. That's, that's kind of sad. All right, well, I guess we're going to have to go up there. It's really, we really have no other choice. Let me actually see something real quick. Uh... Yeah, okay, let's see if there's another way up here. So there's this over here, which this leads to something. Oh. Power transfer station 167. Oh! Okay, that's a little strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody should have locked it, right? Maybe the guy in charge of the forest closet forgot. Maybe. Or he's dead. <sighs> Jonas. I'm just saying, maybe he's dead. I found the circuit breaker. Wait, like the first thing it says is, beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. Um, so I don't know. Terrific, you'll be my supervisor. Supervisor Jonas. So what does it say to do? Just let me do it. That way, if something bad happens, you know. That's very sweet. Really, but I'm not the type of sister you need to throw your coat on the puddle for, okay? Okay. It's your barbecue. Well, hold on, let's Being investigate the rest on an of you're gonna pull it, forces, you might as well do it now. Television. Well, maybe if we get the power working, you can catch up on the soaps. It's the switch, right there. Uh, what did you flip? Because it kind of did the opposite of what we wanted. I flipped the... It's the only one, Jonas. What other switch could I even flip? Oh, good point. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on backup power now or something? It sounds like it's emitting some weird noise too, right? Yeah, a little. For some reason it reminds me of the cave. It's... I can't believe this. It's locked now. It's okay, we'll just... There's got to be a way to turn the power on still. Hey, don't worry. This will be just another in a series of escalating funny stories to tell our parents when we get home. If we get home. Okay. Okay. Oh! Whoa. That's... that's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... Ah. I am so Whoa. tired of this funhouse bullcrap. What 
the hell was that all about? That was weird. Let's see what she said. It's a good thing she said literally, otherwise I would have thought she meant it figuratively, figuratively from the 1800s. <laughs> no, yeah, I agree. <laughs> oh man, but this is getting more and more weird. I don't know uh, how to explain it. Was that there before? I don't think so. I don't think so. Alex, are you all right? It's uh, just a chair, so... Well, it's making me feel like bugs are on my skin. So, come on, let's go. No, I agree. I agree. What a night, huh? <sighs> yeah, sorry about this. No, no, I'm not, um, I'm not saying it like it's anyone's fault. It's nobody's fault. It just happened. Stuff happens. If I hadn't brought the radio and hadn't tuned it into that... whatever... No, don't say that. Well, actually, you saying that saves me from saying it, so thank you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I kid, I kid. <laughs> well, I think we need to go up, to be honest. I don't think we're supposed to cross that bridge. At least, I don't think so, based on the map. I think we need to go up. So, we're gonna go up. Huh. Oh, yeah! There's these weird stones. Is that, like, a weird pile of stones? Okay, hold on. Let me see some real quick. Let me come down here to these weird... I think these are stones. <laughs> been collecting those all along. See what you said literally is being used so much it has become nothing more than similar circumstances to throw away customers <laughs> only only uh, used only to put emphasis on points. <laughs> that okay, I will admit that is actually kind of true. That is actually pretty true. Now hold on. It says it's the I don't know, Catbird station and the call sign is weird. 60.8 the dial doesn't go that far. Huh. Uh, and that's it? Could have been better had it... Huh. Alright, well I guess we can't go up. Here I'm thinking we could, we can't. We're gonna have to cross that bridge. So wow, we found our first uh, anomaly with that rock. So I'm wondering if there's like any more similar rocks like that around here. They said that um, Rin said that earlier. The rocks that other kids have laid rocks where they heard weird noises on the radio. So I don't know. Let me try something real quick. That is really weird. Alright, I don't think there's any more rocks down here. I hate doing this to you guys. I hate doing this to you. So I know you're the only one here, Glitchy, so I hate doing this to you, but... I'm gonna look. <laughs> it said that it literally became where it's at today. People have sucked all meaning from it. Yeah, that I can, I can understand, too. 
Is this another one? Another set of rocks? <gasps> Easy three. If indeed he find fault with anything, or expose it with charity, the abbot shall discuss it prudently. Lest perchance God has sent him for this very thing. Easy three. <laughs> Wonder what it all means. Like it just doesn't make any sense. At least so far it doesn't. Makes me wonder what it's all really about, you know? I wonder I bet there's an achievement for collecting like every single one. Like every single uh humming like a barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. Well, this one is. Praise Hello. the Lord. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. I think that's what scares me the most, is I'm afraid of it, like, shattering or breaking apart. Alright, I'm gonna quickly grab a soda while the screen is loading. Okay. And then my sister had made herself a bag of popcorn but never finished it so she gave it